wait, now, wait a second. Didn't you just release a video reviewing the Realme GT? Why are you making a review of the same phone again? Well, the previous Realme GT was not designed for the international release, meaning that the services from Google are not available on that one, including the Google Play Store, YouTube, Google Drive, and many more. At the same time, we would also like to cover some minor details that we didn't mention in the previous review. So, this is Wei Yu from Pandaily, and welcome back to our channel. And today, we are going to take a closer look together at the Realme's brand new flagship phone, the international release of Realme GT. So now let's start with the unboxing process. Inside the international version's box, we no longer see the original Chinese message. Um, instead, we see an English welcoming message uh, from Realme. After the welcoming message, the rest of the unboxing experience is pretty much identical to the previous one. We see that the phone comes with a warranty card, a phone case, and the phone itself, alongside with the Type-C to Type-C cable, and a charging brick that supports the Blackmagic fast charging when paired with the included cable. After booting up, the phone acts just like any other Android phone with Google services. We can see the familiar Chrome icon, as well as all the services that we use on a daily basis, including YouTube, Google Drive, Google Calendar, and many more that you are familiar with. Um, in terms of design, we have the vegan leather version with the black and yellow finish to it at the back of the phone. We see the camera module that blends perfectly with the black stripe on the back of the phone that creates a uniform look. When we look closely at the black stripe, we can also see an arrow-like pattern with a two-tone finish running down the black stripe. Uh, when pointing at the right angle, which gives the phone a racing wipe in combination with the colors of the phone. Since aiming is part of uh, the selling points of the phone, I think this overall design and the minor details in the back stripe really shows the purpose of this phone. Now moving on to the front side of the phone, we have the same 6.43-inch uh, Super AMOLED display that supports 120Hz refresh rate, which greatly improves the gaming experience. Speaking of games, as one of the cheapest smartphones that comes with a Snapdragon 888, you're really getting great band for your buck because the Realme GT also comes with a GT mode, which greatly improves the phone's gaming performance. With this great performance, battery inside the phone also has to keep up in order to last through your gaming session. Fear not, the phone also comes with 4,500 milliamp battery, which uh, is enough juice to power throughout your day with intense gaming. If you do run out of power, supercharging speed will also get you from 2% all the way to 100% in just 28 minutes and 27 seconds. So if gaming is a priority for your daily use of this phone, then Realme GD is not going to let you down. So how about the cameras? Well, the international version of the Realme GT has approximately the same components in the previous Realme GT, meaning that the phone's camera is good for daily photography, but it's nowhere near the image quality of the flagship phones. So if you are interested, you can check out our previous review on the non-international version of Realme GT right here. And that's where we're gonna leave it with this phone. All right, that's all that we have for you today. If you liked this video, please give us a thumbs up. If you haven't subscribed to our channel already, please do so if you want to know more about China's technology and business. See you in our next video. Bye.